Hello everyone, welcome to Spice Runny Cooking Channel. I'm Jespia and I'm here to share all my favourite recipes with you. There are two steps that you have to be aware of when making a good Singapore Hokkien noodle. The first step is to have a very good prawn broth. And secondly, we have to make sure that the noodles absorb that beautiful broth without becoming soggy. For Hokkien noodles, we are using a combination of bihun and yellow noodles. Let's begin with the recipe. For a full list of ingredients, check out the description box. We are going to start with the garlic for the prawn broth. Chop it coarsely and set it aside. Next, Chop the ingredients needed for the noodles. Chop ku chai or Chinese chives into 1 inch long strips. And also cut the fish cake and set aside. And finally, grate the garlic for the noodles. Now for the fun part, it's time to cook! We will start with the broth. The broth needs to cook for at least an hour to extract all the flavour from the prawn heads and shells. Heat 3 tablespoons oil and cook the garlic till light brown. Add all the prawn heads and shells. Cook this till they change colour and release their fragrances. Crush the prawn heads and shells with a wooden spatula. This helps to release all the essence from the heads. of water and a tablespoon of Sarawak white pepper. Cover and simmer on medium to low heat for an hour. After 40 minutes, add the pork. Cook till pork is cooked through. After about 20 minutes, remove the pork and turn off the heat. Sift the prawn broth. Sift every last bit of golden goodness. Time to cook the noodles. Heat 3 tablespoons of lard in a wok. The lard needs to be hot before we begin. Start by cooking 4 eggs in the hot lard. Cook this for about a minute. the noodles and stir well. Add more broth to make it easier to stir the noodles. Push the noodles to one side of the wok. Add about a tablespoon of lard to cook the grated garlic. A splash of broth will help the garlic cook faster. Next, add the prawns, squid, pork, fish cake, bean sprouts, Chinese chives, fish sauce, and light soy sauce. Add more broth to help the seafood cook. Stir well and cover. Thank you. 
After 3 minutes, stir the noodles to make sure it absorbs the broth but don't get soggy. If it is too dry, add another splash of broth. In total, I used 1 and a quarter cups of broth. Cover and cook for another minute. Season with salt if needed. Stir well and turn off the heat. Ta-da! It's done! As simple as that. It's ready to eat. Serve hot with sambal and calamansi. I really miss Singapore Hokkien Mee so much. Now I can make it anytime I have a craving. Please do like and subscribe to our channel for more cooking videos. I'll see you next week. The first is the prawn broth and the second is... And I'm the one that wrote it. Yeah, exactly. <sighs> there are two main types. Strap. 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 Strap.